Julia was fed up with crying. She was more frightened of living than of dying. So she decided to take up flying without a plane. But somewhere in the back of her head, she can hear them calling out her name. They say no, Julia, no. They'll say try, Julia, try. To be all things to all men for most of the time, cause no general offence, commit no heinous crime. Life is sometimes ridiculous, sometimes sublime, and we all have to put up with pain. It's downright peculiar. There's no reason why Julia should be standing on the window ledge screaming about jumping. Her pupils are dilating. Her adrenaline is pumping. She means it wholeheartedly. She says this time she's not joking. An active volcano has just started smoking, and it may be a burst of hot air, but they can't risk her jumping from there. They'll say no, Julia. No. They'll say why, Julia? Why? After all the resources we've invested in you, you were carefully prepared in the best way we knew, but you didn't turn out the way we wanted you to. Now you're the cause of more anguish and more pain. So it's. Hardly peculiar the reason why Julia is reaching for the bottle like a Hollywood actress. The emergency services are familiar with her address. Her head's in the oven, or she's locked in the toilet, and there's always some busybody rushing in to spoil it. There's a policeman extending his hand, but there's no way that he'll understand. Meanwhile, the crowd is gathered in the street. The reporters say there's still a little hope, but to Julia, the world beneath her feet looks like a virus under a microscope. And the crowd say, "No, Julia, no, Julia, no!" But they're standing by to clear up the mess. And the crowd say, "No, Julia, no, Julia, no, Julia, no!" But the voice in Julia's head says, "Yes, Julia, yes." And she floats like a feather in space. She sees all of her life since the day it began, every feeling of despair, every face of every man, until all of a sudden she's strawberry jam. But that. Not the end of her pain. She believes that somehow she survived. Though the hospital says that she died, she's still suffering in eternity, continually performing her last suicide.